dog food can get pretty pricey. So today I'm going to try to make my own. Hey guys, my name is Vanessa and today I am making homemade dog food for my two bigger dogs. You guys are gonna see a little bit of them in a little bit. Um, that way you guys can see the kind of dogs that I have and the reason why I make so much. I do feel like I am about to make a big portion, but I am feeding two bigger dogs. They are 11 years old, Bella and Buford, and buying dog food can get pretty pricey. We buy a huge bag whenever we can get to a bulk store of dry food once a month. However, we have not been able to buy that bag, so we've been buying a 15 pound bag about once a week, and the prices are starting to go up. Not only that, but they are, since they are on the older side, they like to have something soft with their dry food mixed in, and canned food, not only one is it not the healthiest for your dogs, but two, it does add up. The price adds up and it can get pretty pricey. So I am going to go through my freezer, pick out a few things and in my pantry, and we are going to whip up some homemade dog food. And it doesn't really take a lot of effort. So let's get right into it. Okay, so to prep this for this coming week, I'm actually starting pretty early. It is a Friday morning and I just got the kids off to school. So I have my crock pot out and the meat that I'm choosing to use for this recipe. So I have two pounds of chicken breast here um, and these are from ButcherBox, which you guys are gonna learn a little bit more about in the future. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and cut open these packages. I did take them out of the freezer last night and I put it in the fridge to thaw out a bit knowing that I was going to be using them this morning. Okay, my chicken is in my crock pot. Now, if you wanted to, you could add some broth, maybe vegetable broth or something like that, but you don't need to. I'm not going to, I am just going to cook my chicken. So I'm putting the lid on and I'm gonna go ahead and put it on high and I'm gonna check it after two hours. I know it's really early in the morning, so it's pretty dark. Um, I'm still in my pajamas. Can you guys see my, my lemon shorts? <laughs> But I'm gonna put it on high and I'm gonna check it after two hours and see if the chicken is all done. I'm just waiting for it to cook completely and that is it. So it has been a little over two hours. The chicken is done, but I am going to leave it on high to continue cooking just a little bit longer just to make sure it's completely done while I finish or start with the other items that I'm gonna be adding into the dog food. So I have my Instant Pot out. I'm going to be cooking some rice. Um, I wish I had brown rice on hand, but I don't. I have regular white rice, which is totally fine. You can mix and match anything. Um, it's definitely a lot better than buying the canned stuff. So I'm going to use my Instant Pot to cook up some rice. Now, I prefer sticky rice when I'm making it for my family. So to make sticky rice, you would not pre-rinse your rice. You would leave the extra starch on there and just pop it in your Instant Pot with some water and cook it. However, I want this to not be sticky. Um, that way it just looks really good and it'll taste a little better for the dogs. It'll mix better into the chicken. So I did pre-rinse my rice. I have a one cup. I'm going to add this into my Instant Pot. And since it is a little wet, I'm gonna scoop all the extra off of that as well. And then I am adding a cup and a half of water in here. I always add one half cup extra to the rice. So not a one, one ratio, but one, one and a half, one cup of rice, one and a half water. And I am going to use the rice button just to make it easy. So let me go ahead and get this all set up. Always make sure your Instant Pot is sealing when you are going to cook or it's not gonna come to pressure. And then again, I'm just going to press the rice button. It has to come to pressure, which will take about 10 minutes. And then rice is automatically on low pressure for 12 minutes. So this will take about 22 minutes total. Timer's done. Quick release to let out all the steam. All right. Rice is done. So I'm gonna turn my Instant Pot off. I'm also going to put my crock pot to low. Uh, not low, I mean warm, I'm putting it to warm. 
Okay, and now I'm going to use the quick method to shredding chicken. Plus, this is a little safer. I don't have to take this out, put it in another dish, um, and I don't have to use forks to shred it in here when it's still hot. So I like to use my mixer when I'm just using chicken and I don't have anything else in here. Um, not a whole lot of liquid. There is a little bit from the chicken, of course. So let's go ahead and shred this up. <laughs> that seriously took under a minute. So now that my chicken is shredded and my rice is done, I'm going to get the rice. I should have pulled a bigger spoon out. The dogs definitely start or smelling it already. <laughs> um, but I should have used a bigger spoon, but that's okay. I don't want to dirty another dish. So I'm going to get all my rice out and into the crock pot with my chicken. Okay, rice is all in there, and the reason why I'm keeping my crock pot on warm and I'm not turning it off is because I am going to pour in a bag of frozen peas and I just want them to warm up a bit. So I should have opened this a little more since it's frozen, but I'm gonna go ahead and pour the peas in here. There we go. Look at all that freezer burn. Yeah, definitely good thing I am trying to clean out my cabinets and everything. So I'm going to mix this all up and let it sit for a little bit until these peas get a little warm and especially get them not sticking together so much like this little block of them right here. Okay, only about 20, 25 minutes later and the dog's food for the week is done and they know it. Let me show you guys where they're at right now. Do, do, boom. This is Buford. Hi, Buford. <laughs> I did drip a little water moving the Instant Pot. And then this is Bella. <laughs> they both know that their food is done, but they have to wait until tonight. It's way too hot for them to eat right now. So now that this is done, I am just going to transfer it to a big bowl. I like to use a see-through bowl just so everybody else in the house knows that this is for the dogs. And then we give this to them every single night as part of their dinner. So this will last, I do have two big dogs. So this lasts me about a week. And let's go ahead and get it into my bowl so we can get it in the fridge so it is nice and cooled down by the time they eat dinner tonight. Okay, my bowl, my bowl is full. So no seasonings, um, just chicken, rice, and peas. Now, I am actually just using what I already have on hand. We are moving very, very soon. So I'm trying to clean out my freezer and pantry as much as I can. The less food that we have to move, the better. <laughs> but you could add carrots to this. You could add spinach. Really, the options are I don't want to say endless because some food is not safe for dogs, but there are a lot of other options out here. I really just wanted to bring to you guys today something super easy and simple that you could do if you do have pets um, instead of buying canned food. Now they do still get dry food. You guys see that in my grocery hauls, um, but I have stopped buying wet canned food and this is what I've been doing for them instead, especially as they are getting into their older age. They really do enjoy these softer foods more. So, that is my dog's food for about the next week. All right, told you, super easy, not a lot of effort. It does take a little bit of time, just if you want to use your crock pot for the chicken. There are faster ways of cooking chicken. I just love using the crock pot, the dump and go method, where I don't have to stand over it or worry about it, and I can get other things done in the meantime. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and seeing my doggies for just a little bit. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Uh, this is the first time I've ever shared a video like this, although I do a lot of food related content just for my other members of my family. So if you guys are new, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and join my YouTube community, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.